Howdy, I'm Cowboy Ken. Welcome to the Drop Zone. Today I got a very special guest with me today. <laughs> he, he's, what the hell? Wait, Tom, quick. <laughs> so you had a special guest, you guys. Wondering where. Okay, we got a guest with us today. <laughs> Ain't nobody here but me, Ken. <laughs> I, I mean, I I'm going to have to cut and start over I, again. I just checked out Let the whole me tell place you, and there's nobody else. Singer, songwriter, you. actor, stuntman, martial artist, Hollywood badass. Please welcome to the studio my friend, Tom Proctor. Tom, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, that was a hell of an introduction, but you left out most sexy man on the planet. I did that for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is a truth-telling story, our, our studio here. <laughs> Only the truth and BS comes in. Now, Tom, you're doing the Working Man Tour. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what that's all about? It's basically to, I just cut an album, and this is what, you know, it, it's really fun. Um, you know, I've worked a lot as an actor, and as a kid, I, I tried to make the music business and everything like that as a drummer and all that stuff, and and did the band thing. Couldn't, just couldn't handle the cigarette smoke. Okay. Just, just deathly allergic to it. You know, like kryptonite to Superman. And yet, you know, I had my grandmother tell me, and you know, she was a visionary. She was a yep. seer. That's just I, I don't want to sound crazy, but that's the way it was. And had her tell me, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do well with your with your singing and your stories and everything like this." Well, I figured out singing wasn't it because clubs. Okay. And then went into acting. About seven years ago, I won a guitar in an arm wrestle. And that's the god truth. You uh, won a guitar in an arm wrestle. In an arm wrestle. Yep. Okay. On the way to Louisiana, to pick up more film work. And uh, and I just started. You know, making noise with it, and some noise sounded good, and some noise didn't sound so good. Next thing you know, I wrote several songs, and then I did the series Nashville, okay. which is all about the music business. And while I was there, I played the best sound engineer in Nashville. And while I was there, I was playing the guitar in the studio, and somebody heard me and said, "Whose songs are that?" And I said, "Mine." You wrote that? Oh yeah, I wrote that. And she goes, well, did you get it? Did you get it registered with BMI? And I said, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, you don't know what BMI is? You don't got them copyright? No. How many of those songs you got? About ten. She says, you don't play them anywhere public, dude. I said, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to be playing them down here in the coffee. No. Yeah. And, and <laughs> <laughs> then next thing you know, one thing led to another, and. Uh, producer, I got showed how to register them, copyright the songs, and all that stuff. All right. And then uh, somebody sent my music to Mr. Billy Mason, who was the drummer and uh, for Dance Hall Doctors. He had the Dance Hall Doctors, which was Tim McGraw's band for cool. 18 years. And uh, I guess they went their separate ways. And uh, he liked my music and. Pulled together a new band behind it. We was going to use the dance hall doctors, but we got a call from Tim's lawyer saying, if you use the dance hall doctors, we'll come uh -huh. after you. Hey, here, that, that was actually great news. Because oh, that okay. Was, that to me meant he was worried about it. Ah. And Billy had the rights to the name, but even with him having the rights to the name, the lawyer just explained to him, yeah, you've got the rights to the name, but Tim McGraw's got enough money to tie your album up in court for... Oh, however man. many years. Okay. So it w worked out better because I didn't want to go on His Thunder. I wanted to make my music on my own. And so we um, called it Tom Proctor and the A-Listers. And uh, there, everything about us is on TomProctorandTheA-Listers.com. We'll and, have that on the screen for y'all. Yep. And, uh, and uh, so then I found out with the, these A-listers, the best of the best, it was still difficult to book them into big shows. And and these guys are, they really are, the A-listers really are the A-listers. They, they make their living in the studios working with the most famous people in the world. Matter of fact, one of them, when I went to get book them to, to do my album, which uh, several, uh, 
artists, when they go down there and do the albums, they stay at Dark Horse Studios. It takes them a month to do an album. We oh. did the album in five days. Oh, we actually. literally lived at Dark Horse Studios. They had the, this nice uh, facility there, uh, you know. A, and and Dark, Dark Horse Studios in in Nashville is just like an amazing, amazing Excellent. studio. They've won more Grammys than anybody. So they got on board with it. Everybody got on board. We made the album, and now to promote the album, I uh, just decided, okay, I can't really afford to take the band and start building from the ground up like a new band, like a bunch of 20 year olds. So I thought, I'm going to take my music back where my music came from. And it was from being in the bayous. It was from dealing with the working man. And the, the, the album's title song is The Working Man. And it, the album is dedicated to the working men, women of America. Excellent. And Excellent. that's and that's what it's all about. And I thought, there's no better way to do that than to go back where it started. It started in backyard barbecues, just like yep. what we're going to have here tonight. Yep. Yeah, uh, Tom's going to be here at uh, my house in Payson, Utah. Undisclosed location, though. Uh, you know, security reasons and stuff like that. The address <laughs> is... <laughs> anyway, uh, while he was at my house... Now, Tom, I... I I didn't want to eavesdrop, but I heard some great news coming oh from gosh. your manager. Can you tell the audience what what this great news is all about? Well, I, I, I can't tell them as much as you heard on the phone, because uh, I talked on speakerphone to her and got that great news. And uh, <laughs> It's awesome, though, huh? Yes, it is. Uh, it's... Uh, I. Just got cast in a, a series, a recurring role in another series, but it's not just another series. It's a, it's it's really awesome. We will. I will promise you this, Cam. Okay. I will talk to production. We get the final contracts on Monday. The minute I can release any information, just because you already have the information, I will. <laughs> I'm in the it, know, folks. <laughs> I will. I will get the information to you, so people should stay tuned in to Cowboy Can. Oh, and yes, uh, uh, we great advice here, people. <laughs> we, you know what? It is great advice. We played a veteran center. Oh, year. that was awesome. And you know what? It was beyond awesome. We couldn't have possibly had more things go wrong. Uh, I, I got a new sound system, wasn't quite used to it, couldn't hear myself, couldn't hear the, the scratch track, and wound up throwing the track out and just playing old school. And he did an awesome job. It actually sounded great. It it was awesome. And did a great he, job. I, I will tell you, the biggest, I, I've done national commercials, Super Bowl commercials, I've done uh major films guardians of the galaxy looper lawless uh every slave movie i'm the racist white glay in every slave movie <laughs> but i'm gonna tell you cam the biggest paycheck i ever got there was at least four people there that told me thank you please come back i haven't had so much fun in a long time and boy if that's all it takes for them to have fun you know, and uh, you know, I as long as your fridge is full of cold beer, I'll keep coming. There back. you go. <laughs> These were we had a lot of veterans still from World War Two, Korea, a lot of Vietnam vets, and uh, Tom sang his heart out. We had a great time. Well, we look forward to the uh, exciting news. We're gonna go drink some beer and have some barbecue. Tom, anytime. Welcome back. The Working Man Tour, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. This is Cowboy Ken from the Drop Zone. That is all.